Hey guys, this is iOS on a 100 inch screen. Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to talk about the iPad Pro's ability to connect to an external monitor and maybe talk about some of the use cases. Since my YouTube channel is art related, I'm going to test this to see if it's possible to actually draw on the iPad while looking at the screen. All right, I have connected this iPad Pro to my 27 inch monitor. So the iPad Pro 2018 now uses a USB type C port for data connection and charging. And because of that, you can now use pretty generic USB type C adapters like the one that I have here, which is from USB type C to this three ports and one of them is HDMI. So I'm going to connect this to the iPad Pro. So once you connect this, you should see an icon pop up here. This icon tells you that the iPad Pro has recognized the USB-C adapter, which is great. Once it's connected, you just have to wait for a few seconds, wait for the monitor to detect the signal and the screen should come on. The resolution of the iPad Pro is actually higher compared to this 27 inch monitor that I'm using. The resolution here is 1440p. Depending on which screen you are using, the iPad Pro is either going to scale up or scale down the resolution. So if you are using a 4K monitor, then it's going to scale up. If you are using a 1080p monitor, then it's going to scale down. This monitor only has 60Hz refresh rate, so it's not going to match the 120Hz here, but it's still quite smooth, but definitely not as smooth compared to the iPad Pro. So. This is 4 by 3 aspect ratio, this is 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so this is a widescreen monitor and because of that, you're going to see huge black bars on the left and the right side. Currently, this is just one-to-one -one mirror mode. I'm not sure how Apple or other app developers, how they are going to program their apps to take advantage of the external screen. If you are using desktop OS, you know that when you connect a monitor to your computer, you have the option to choose mirror mode or you can choose to extend the desktop to the external screen. But that is not the case here. So all of the apps that I have tried, there is no, there's no way for you to extend the desktop. So what you see on the external screen is exactly what you see here on the iPad. And the resolution is actually very good. All the user interface elements, they are very sharp. The icons, the fonts, they are all very sharp. And when it comes to panning and zooming, navigation, um, the refresh rate, the responsiveness, it's all very good. The app I'm using now is Medibank Paint Pro. So you can use your iPad sort of like those, you know, screenless tablets, the Wacom tools, uh, where you look at the monitor and draw on the tablet. There is an issue here with the iPad Pro. Let me show you what will happen when you draw on the iPad Pro while looking at the monitor. So I'm going to draw a very simple 3D letter, nothing special, just a letter A. I'm going to add some dimensionality to this letter by drawing the sides here. I'm going to look at the monitor right now and let's see what happens. All right, this is what's happening. I am not able to connect the lines properly because there's no cursor to tell me where the pen tip is on the screen. So that's the problem. Anyway, when you have a screen like this that you can draw on, it's definitely going to be more intuitive. So going back to drawing like as if you are using a screenless tablet, it sort of doesn't really work now with the iPad. Let's see what would happen if I play a YouTube video. Because the aspect ratio of the iPad is 4 by 3 on a widescreen monitor like this, you're going to get thick black bars at the top, bottom, left, and right. As far as I know, there is no way to scale up this, um, basically turn the 4x3 into 16x9. Hopefully Apple can implement that in iOS in the future, because now it looks, it's not optimal. Apple says that this iPad Pro can play HDR movies, and they are actually right, but this is actually not a HDR screen, so you're not going to be able to get those HDR levels of brightness and contrast. I'm going to play this HDR movie that I have and see what happens. This is playing through the 
cloud so it's going to take some time to load and it looks like it is working so that's great so this is one possible use case where you can play movies that are on your iPad on the external screen but you have to take note of uh, certain issues with copyrighted movies you need to get the proper cable the proper USB-C adapter and you need a proper monitor uh, monitors that are HDCP certified earlier on when I tried to play this movie I had this error saying that I cannot play copyrighted movies on this monitor because it's not supported but now it's working I'm not sure why this is iOS on a hundred inch screen now I need to make this a bit smaller so that it's more usable with the iPad you may not need an Apple TV anymore because now you can play movies from your iPad but there's one thing to note there is no remote so if you are playing a movie on your screen and you want to pause the movie you actually have to go to the iPad and hit the pause button because there is no remote and there is no way for you to connect a Bluetooth mouse to the iPad so that's the limitation Right now I have connected uh, my iPad to this projector here so it's really cool I can see this huge screen Let me play back the YouTube video again So on this projector it looks better because I don't have black bars on the sides The resolution is not that good Let me play this movie again and see what happens so this actually works I have paused the movie here because I want to talk a bit more about HDR if the iPad is able to output HDR video then you should be able to see more details in the shadow areas for example here with her hair if this is HDR you should be able to see details in those uh, black patches there you should be able to see highlights of her hair right now I am not able to tell whether or not this is actually HDR quality so yeah I cannot confirm for you there and I don't have a proper HDR monitor to test it out for you guys and also this projector that I'm using this supports up to 1080p resolution so this is not as sharp compared to the iPad Pro's resolution so the iPad has downsized the resolution for this projector and this is the other use case for external display you can use it for presentation you can use it for watching movies this is Apple's support page and it says here that the iPad Pro is capable of playing HDR10 and Dolby Vision content provided you have the supported devices so technically speaking you can play HDR videos on the iPad Pro all right, I think I've pretty much covered everything I wanted to say about using the iPad Pro with an external monitor. It works great, but right now the features are quite limited because you only have the mirror mode, there's no extended desktop. And in the future, I'm not sure how the app developers, how they are going to take advantage of this ability to have an external screen. Like how do you control elements on the other screen because there is no cursor so that would be the question one question that i get a lot is are you able to connect the ipad to your computer maybe to your mac and use this as the external monitor well no not directly anyway you can connect this to your mac you can download an app called astropad and it will mirror what you have on the mac desktop to the ipad screen so now you can use desktop software on the iPad but it's a one-to-one -one mirror it's not an extended uh, desktop so that's the limitation hopefully in the future we get to see more applications that really take advantage of dual screens and that's all for my video today if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching see you in the next video bye